Here is a quick video on working memory and attention. Some researchers believe that they are the same thing, and so when you talk about attention, more often than not, you will also hear about working memory. It is also believed that what is held in working memory is largely directed by attention. While memory is further discussed in Chapter 5, just remember that cognitive function varies from person to person. Miller says that an individual's ability to pay attention, his or her working memory capacity, and the ability to effectively carry out a diverse range of cognitive tasks portrays attention as the capacity to pick out and maintain task-relevant information while holding irrelevant information at bay. Well, what does this mean? It means that when this capacity is strong, needed information can be accessed quickly and efficiently without contamination from irrelevant information. This usually results in quicker and better task completion, but reduces the ability to respond to task irrelevant information. The text also discusses ADHD, but quite superficially, and generalizes that ADHD learners will more than likely show extreme versions of attention limitations experienced by the non-ADHD learner. They will more than likely struggle with identifying information that is important when faced with multiple demands. Limiting information that is irrelevant to the task at hand, like irrelevant thoughts and tasks related to previous work, will also prove challenging. You're almost there, so take a break. Created using Powtoon.